Stapleton wrote uh, what usually most people consider to be the most cosmic and expansive visions of the future that anybody in the West has ever written, in particular, Last and First Men, which runs out two billion years into the future, and Star Maker, which runs out a good 30 billion years into the future, and then actually jumps to an even higher level mm -hmm. to the metaverse itself and the reality of the Star Maker. Uh, Which is, in, in effect, coming face-to-face -face with God. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Stapleton and Wells were both uh, very critical of Western Christian religion, mm -hmm. and they felt something different needed to replace that fundamental belief system. Mm -hmm. And what Stapleton did, more so than Wells, was he took the principle of evolution very seriously, and he applied it to science fiction and to cosmology. Mm -hmm. Wells definitely was influenced by evolution, but Stapleton was a thoroughgoing evolutionist, and so he saw humankind evolving through 18 different future species mm -hmm. um, involving both uh, natural biological evolution and genetic engineering and technological augmentation and ethical evolution. And then he traces out in Star Maker the evolution of intelligence in the universe mm -hmm. through the next 30 billion years uh, through various uh, types of increasingly uh, more encompassing societies and minds, and then he comes face to face with Star Maker, uh, the cosmic mind of the universe 30 billion years ahead in time, uh, is able to make contact with Star Maker, mm -hmm. and Star Maker, in fact, is an evolutionary being too. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're one of many uh, universes that the, that the star maker has created on a giant cosmic evolutionary wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so uh, Stapleton is a thoroughgoing evolutionist and uh, he applies it uh, across humanity, across the cosmos, and then he applies it even to the uh, source and origin of the cosmos and star maker. So it's, it's as if Perhaps in contrast to H.G. Wells, Stapleton is something of a religious prophet. Oh, well, Stapleton definitely could look more spiritual or religious than um, uh, Wells. Mm -hmm. But uh, a couple of things to keep in mind is that Stapleton clearly seems to have a naturalistic perspective. So the star maker, in one sense, is not a supernatural being. Mm -hmm. Rather, the star maker is just at a higher level of reality than the universes that the star maker creates. And, um, um, and also, Stapleton, and in this sense, he is religious. Stapleton is clearly the more cosmic thinker. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, looking at humanity uh, within the context of the cosmos. Mm -hmm. And that, in fact, is a fundamental uh, a theme in religion, too. Sure. And now, with regard to Stapleton, the, you've mentioned two important books, The Star yes. Maker and The First and Last... La last and First Men. The Last and First, first Men. Men. Yes. So, and, and The Last and First Men precedes The Star Maker. Right, right? exactly. Uh, the first one was written in 31, the second one was written in 37. And the, I, I, I gather there's a kind of a sequence in a way that you go through the process of 18 different s species that are our descendants. Yes. And uh, each, each of these species develops new capacities. Yes. Faces new challenges. Yes. And, and I also gather that each time a, a new species uh, comes into being, it, uh, it, it has solved some problems, but is surprised by other problems. Yeah. In fact, it is one problem after another. Mm -hmm. It is not a hap happily ever after scenario.